Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Baron Inzwich and Nils Alai. This game was played in Denmark in 1922. Dinsovic had white pieces and he started with d4. Nils Alai played d5. c4, the queen's gambit. e6 declined. Knight to c3, knight to f6, knight to f3. Bishop to e7, white to move, bishop to g5, and bishop to f4 are the two most played moves nowadays. Nitsovic played e3, c5 in the style of Tarash. Bishop to d3, knight to c6, and both players castled kingside. White to move. Nitsovic played a3. This move was for the first time played in 1887, and it is still the most played move in this position. b6, b3, bishop to b7, bishop to b2, c takes on d4, resolving the tension in the center. e takes on d4, rook to c8, rook to e1, d takes on c4, b takes on c4, and now knight to a5, threatening to take the pawn on c4. And white has only one good move in this position, and that is knight to e5. King to h8. White to move. People say that Nintzvich like to overprotect his pieces. Perhaps in this position, people would expect to see something like rook to b1. Nintzvich played g4. A very sharp move. But moves like this can be risky too. Knight to d7. d5. Knight takes on e5, rook takes on e5. This is the critical moment. Lai was too worried about his king's safety and played bishop to f6. Perhaps knight takes on c4 should have been considered. Bishop to f6. Attacking the rook, rook to h5, g6. Lai was counting on this continuation. He calculated that if the rook goes to h3, then knight takes on c4, and black is okay. So if rook to h3 is not the best move, what is the best move for white in this position? White must save the rook. Maybe. Nintzovic played. Queen to d2, sacrificing the rook, maybe. Black to move, rook to g8. What's wrong with taking the rook? If pawn takes rook, then a queen to h6, and there is no sensible defense against queen takes pawn on h7 checkmate. Back to our game. That is why in this position, Lai played rook to g8. Knight to e4, bishop takes bishop, queen takes bishop, check. Rook to g7, white to move. White has to take care of his rook. True or false? What is the best way for the rook? Perhaps rook to h3 is not a bad move. Nate switch played. Rook takes pawn on h7, check. King takes rook. Knight to f6, check, king to h8, g5. This is the critical position. Knight to c6 was played. Perhaps he takes on d5 should have been considered. Knight to c6, allowing white to take the knight, but the offer was not accepted. Rook to e1. Let's take it back. If D takes on c6, bishop takes on c6, and black is fighting back. Back to our game. Instead of taking the knight, rook to e1 was played. Can you see the purpose of this move? e takes on d5. Why to move? How would you continue now? Perhaps pawn takes pawn on d5 comes to mind. Instead, rook to e3. 
the rook lift, and black has no hope in this position. Lie played a desperate move, queen takes knight. Rook to h3, check, king to g8. Pawn takes queen, rook to h7, rook takes rook, king takes rook. Queen to e2, d takes on c4. Is bishop takes pawn on c4 the best move, or maybe there is a better move? How would you continue? Nintsovich played queen to h5 check. The pawn on g6 is pinned. King to g8. White played a move and black resigned and the move is queen to h6. Lie resigned. If c takes on d3 then queen to g7 check. Mate. Very wild game by Aron Nintsovich. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.